right, guys. Good morning, Derek from He and She Fitness here. I am on my way to, you guessed it, the post office. Like usual, like every morning. Um, yeah, I got a couple packages to mail and got a lot to do today. So it is a beautiful Wednesday morning. It's supposed to actually be in the upper 60s. Do I have my wallet? Somewhere, probably, hopefully. Upper 60s today, um, lots of sun. Yeah, should be nice, looking forward to it. Slept really, really deep last night. Uh, probably got about a little over seven hours of sleep. And yeah, like I said, it was very deep. Um, but also, I don't wake up at the best time. So I woke up like at quarter to five and then like an hour later to get up. And both times I was in the middle of dreaming. So it's good, you know, it's, it's nice deep sleep, but it's kind of the wrong time to wake up. So anyway, it was a little groggy and um, yeah, I was sore all over my body my back is still sore from the workout this weekend my triceps are still sore my legs are sore my chest is sore about the only part of my body that is not extremely sore is my biceps so I thought oh I better rest and then I decided oh I'm going to do one set of biceps and then I realized body's saying no guys the body is saying no and the good thing about having a home gym is you can start and then say no. Now most people would say that's bad because you can start and just quit when you get tired, but honestly, that never, ever, ever happens to me, ever. It's only when my body say no, and it said no this morning and it was a good thing to not work out. So, you know, I've learned through training and training too much that I don't, the word overtraining isn't the right word, but sometimes if your body is saying no, it's better, it's more beneficial not to train to get your cortisol levels down and just to let your muscles heal up. And that is true. So how I do it is I literally train every day, two times a day, just a few sets as you've seen, just a, one body part as you've seen, and I end up hitting each body part between two and four times a week okay that's not too much but if the body is destroyed and is saying no you rest and that's how you treat it you go until you can't go anymore and when you can't go anymore you stop you don't stop before you can't go anymore and you don't keep going if you can't go anymore you, you stop when it's time to stop and if you listen to your body It'll tell you the right things to do. All right, guys. So I'm going to hit the post office. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to get a lot of stuff done today. It's going to be good. Hopefully, it's going to be a great day. Got my pre-workout slash Ernie Palmer slash iced tea slash everything drink. And I am going to hit the road. We will catch you later, guys. Bye. All right, guys. I actually have my sunglasses on for once because it's drum roll sunny in Michigan. That's becoming like an oxymoron, but hey, we have sun, so it's all good. I'm happy about it. Um, yeah, I finished working for the day on my home way home to see Rachel. Uh, yeah, as far as fitness stuff today, I'm feeling pretty good. Had a bunch of coffee. I have not eaten it all during this day. I'm on hour oh, 19 of intermittent fasting from last night, and I'm feeling good. I'm a little bit hungry, so I'm going to go home and eat some fruit and eat some vegetables and specifically probably a banana, grapefruit, and a nice garden salad. Uh, get a workout in maybe get a walk in I don't know it's actually like kind of warm this is like I don't know what to do it hasn't been warm in like two weeks here still waiting on the warm weather so 
if it stays above 60, we might just go for a walk without freezing our asses off. That would be phenomenal, guys. Um, so yeah, anywho, I am on the road and not doing anything super interesting right now. So I will continue this vlog tonight. I'm not sure what's for dinner yet. Um, we've got some green peppers, we got some salad. We have stir, I bet you we will do a stir fry because we have um, Asian style stir fry vegetables, meaning baby corns and water chestnuts and broccoli and uh, snow peas. And I think we have a bag of frozen shrimp that's already de-veined without the tail, etc. So I can see myself either throwing those on a kebab and grilling them or I could see myself getting the walk out. Again, the walk is awesome, awesome, awesome gift from Rachel. I could see myself getting that out and doing a shrimp, like a honey shrimp uh, vegetable stir fry. That would be awesome. So yeah, guys, more to come soon. Okay, yeah, I thought about that. Uh, hey. Taking that. We're on a walk. What is that thing that you have? Selfie uh, stick? Yeah, but it's like a... It's a little portable, like, uh, tripod. Okay. Like a tiny tripod. Okay. So do you have That's to... It's really flexible. The bead one? No, the little round grip thing that you put on your phone case. Oh, the pocket? Yeah. Uh, snap pop, pop pockets? The yeah. snap pockets? Does yeah. Does that Rebels. attach to your phone, like, permanently? No, it's like one of those, um like uh, stickers, the he okay. adhesive stickers that you like can do, like the scotch ones with the frames. Okay. I think it comes off eventually. Have you tried it yet? Nope. Okay. Well, <laughs> Not she, yet. she's just staying that because I just my case. the stabilization is probably really crappy. It's so this. hard to walk. You really yeah. do need like a selfie stick or a little tripod yeah. with your phone. But. So anyway, uh, going for a walk. It's 60 out. Didn't think we would be tonight. No. I'm very happy you want to go wind. for a walk because we've been been in like a week or so and the weather's been so freaking horrible. Oh, there's a kitty. Ooh, there's a kitty. Oh. See the kitties? Outside. Ooh, where are they? Oh, there's one. See the the white one and then the gray one on the oh. sidewalk. The He's kitty. enjoying the weather. He is enjoying the weather. Our cats don't do that. Yeah, our cats, uh... They, they run if we cough. They run away, so that's They're sucks. so scared. They're literally Freaking cats. I know where they get scaredy cat from. Yeah, from us. Our cats. From Trooper. Oh, every noise. So yeah, this is good. This is a good way to get a little bit of. It's not cardio, but helps yeah, burn is. fat a little bit. Well, you don't. You don't hit uh, any type of cardiovascular. Well, yeah, it's not intense, deal. but. I can't help hold my. Uh, it gets our. Selfie arm. We start blood flowing and our yep. joints moving and it gets us outside. Yeah, and it's just relaxing and it doesn't it smells like spring at least. It's not super hard on the joints, so it's been raining straight for like what five days. Yes, and it's so cold. It's like it still is like I always cold. complain about it, but it's like 45 or 50 and it's May. For heaven's yeah. sake, warm the hell up. Like Wonderful. this is pathetic. I want 80 degrees really bad, so yeah, we're both freezing our butts off, but today's decent. We'll take it. We'll take it, so yeah, so anyway, let's enjoy the walk. Enjoy the walk, and then we're going to eat, eat some food. food. Alrighty, so we got dinner ready here, and I just wanted to show you what, uh, what we made. Got some shrimp. Vegetable stir fry and it looks really really good. Uh, might not look great from your view, but from my view it looks awesome. It's a mix of like uh, carrots, snow peas, water chestnuts, broccoli, mini baby corn, shrimp, etc. etc. Yeah, come over. It's going, right? Oh you can't see it. <laughs> Can you see it now? Yeah, move okay. it close. There we go. Up <laughs> It's hard to get, guys. I, let's not do that. Because... Move it up a little bit. Okay. There. So there you go. Yeah. It's going to be really good. And we're looking at eating that right now. Yay!
The camera's probably really crooked. Maybe you can just hold it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's awful. We gotta get this track, but don't try to fix it. Yeah, okay. Got it. <laughs> Still rolling? Yeah. Great, okay. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick list of the ingredients. All right, anyway, guys, we're gonna try this again here. So I showed you the recipe, and I just wanna show you some of the ingredients now and how I put this together. So first off, you saute the shrimp. Uh, when doing the shrimp, I did a little bit of spray olive oil. I also did some coconut oil to give it that coconut flavor. Um, I did a little bit of minced garlic, lemon juice, ginger, really good stuff, a little bit of honey, and a little bit of soy, salt, pepper, and just a sprinkle of brown sugar. Sauteed the shrimp nice and good, brought it over here to the strainer, let it sit, did the same thing with the vegetables. Minus some of the liquids, instead I did some of this Asian toasted sesame dressing from Kraft, it's really good. Got those nice and browned, um, took the shrimp, put it back in there, mixed it up, and here we have it. We've got a shrimp vegetable stir fry that we're going to devour right now. All right, so last part of the day, we've eaten, we've walked, uh, we've done food prep. Now we're gonna get a little bit of a bicep workout in. I'm gonna be doing the barbell and showing you, um, I'm gonna show you two sets of that. Rachel's gonna actually do the dumbbells because the barbell hurts her hands and our, the weight's kinda not good for her. So I'm gonna do regular grip and reverse grip with the barbell and she's gonna do regular grip dumbbells and then also hammer curls with the uh, the dumbbells to get the same effect. So here you go. I'm gonna do regular width grip for these. Get them up. Nice stretch down. <clears throat> Squeeze. Stretch. <clears throat> Squeeze. Stretch. Squeeze. Oh, and I'm starting to feel these. Oh. Two more. Oh. Uh. One more. <clears throat> uh. Good job. There we go. Alrighty. That's mine. She's gonna grab, go ahead and grab the dumbbells. Mm. She's gonna do uh, probably both arms at the same time. Same time? Yeah, because alternating really doesn't help uh, keep tension on the muscle. Lower, then. All right, go ahead. So here she goes with the bicep curls. Oh boy. Just take your time, go down nice and slow. Don't focus on how many reps, just keep the tension a little heavy. Try to keep your back straight if you can. It is. It's been a while since you've done these. Yep. I think quite a while since you've done biceps with me. See if you can put the two ends together, touch them together right there. Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, Treat it. Yep. Treat it like a bar. Makes it real <sighs> difficult. One more. There you go. Now I know why you have me a lower weight. Yep. And then I put it up to 20. Keep your form right and... Uh, Should I go to 17 and a half? Yeah, try it. It's going to be a hammer, so it'll be a little bit easier. But, hammers, uh, I can do 20. That's why I moved it. It's up to you. I'm going to do... Both at once, still? Yeah, you can try it. I'm going to do overhand grip now. <sighs> And again, guys, you can vary your grip width to get a little bit of variation. I'm doing kind of a standard width right now, but I'll probably go to either a close or a wide grip. That's hard, isn't it? It can be. Yeah, because this bar is straight instead of like an easy curl bar. Those make it a little easy. I'm going to cheat here just to get it up. Go down nice and slow. There we go, guys. 
All right, go ahead and go into your hammers. Should I do 20? Uh, why don't you start with 17? Start with 17. Because you're going to do them both at the same time. So why she's does adjusting that make me. such a difference just for doing Because you're keeping the tension on constantly. That's why we're alternating. That's why I don't like the alternating. Not only does it take longer, but you take the tension off. So if you do, if you do at the same time, you keep the tension on the muscle. Uh, you want to touch these to the front of your shoulder. You don't want to get them up too high. There you go. That? Yep. There you go. Stretch your arms nice and straight at the bottom. There you go. <sighs> Tough, fast, something. Yeah. Good when they're working. Okay, that's ten. There we go. Oh. Good. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna do a couple more sets, but for now, I think we're gonna be all done with filming. So thanks for watching today. Like the video, share it subscribe and comment and we will see you again tomorrow bye see you later